Hi, I'm Deepika Polanani and I'm an assistant professor of medicine and adult pulmonologist at the University of Kansas. Today we're going to answer some science questions from the CF community. We have a question from Eileen. How much research has been done in siblings with different disease severity? Have any genes that contribute to disease severity been identified? Well, we actually know that siblings are always very different from each other in the general world and in life, but we actually understand from research of siblings with CF that even when siblings have the same CF mutations as they will when they share the same parents, they have very different disease from each other often, and that research has shown that 50% of that difference in disease severity actually comes from genes besides the CFTR gene, or the gene that is the underlying defect in CF. We have a question from Emily. How does CF affect the immune system? That's a big question. CF actually, we know, impacts the way that mucus is made such that it's obstructing the airways in your lungs. That presence of the mucus in itself causes the cell to start increasing its inflammatory signaling. And that brings in a lot of cells from the immune system to come in because it's recognizing that something isn't quite right. On top of that, all of that mucus is a hotbed for bacterial infections. And we know that infections certainly affect the immune system by bringing in more immune cells and increasing inflammation. Shelby asks, is there any research being done on the inflammation issues that many adults with CF are developing, like issues that affect the joints, like CF arthropathy? There's actually quite a bit of research being done right now to try to decrease the amount of inflammation that's happening in people with CF. In fact, one of the drugs that's being researched in CF is also being tested in people with lupus. So there's quite an emphasis on looking at how Drugs like this may actually impact the immune system or inflammation throughout people with CF. We have a question from Sidna. What research is being done on sinus treatments for chronic sinusitis in CF? There is a great deal of research that's now possible with advances in technology. The ability to do minimally invasive sampling to get way up there in the sinuses without doing sinus surgery has improved. That's great news for people with CF who have chronic sinusitis because now we can actually get mucus from the sinuses and understand what's happening with the mucus and sinuses or what bacteria are growing. Even that research is growing exponentially and how well we can identify so many bacteria through improvements in sequencing. What's great news in terms of research to help people with chronic sinusitis is that $100 million has been put in by the Cystic Fibrosis Foundation to develop new anti-infective therapies. And while the focus for that may be the CF lungs, we know that drugs that can treat bugs down in the lung can also treat bugs in the sinus. This is great news for people with sinusitis. These are great questions coming in from the community about what's happening with the science and research in CF. Thank you so much for letting me answer them.